Yo, what is up guys, Bulgets here, back with a brand new video, and today guys, we are battling Marin Kuroshe again, part 2, because I actually have a part 1 for this video, well, I didn't name it part 1, but I actually have a video where I played him, and he literally destroyed me, um, it was on Battle River, and if you guys look on your screen right now, it has Battle River as the map, so I decided to skip that because I just did not want to get destroyed by him again, like, because we went like super late game too, and I did not want the game to be late. I was hoping for a shorter map, so that's why I decided to skip it, and I will skip it here in a couple of seconds. This is not live, by the way, obviously. But um, so I got Snowy Castle, pretty small map, so I was like pretty happy about that. However, like I don't have a very good strat for that map, I guess. So I just ended up going Dart Bomb and Farm. Um, I. I don't know, it worked out for me pretty well. You guys will see what happens in the gameplay. It was a pretty good game, and nothing against you, Marwin, if you are watching this. Um, you're a great player, and I'm not trying to, like, you know, hate on you or dog on you or anything. I'm literally literally just uploading this because you're just an awesome player, and it's just really fun every time I get to play you and everything. So, that's why I'm doing that. A lot of other YouTubers do it. I see Gaming Shaft and Zerd and many others. Um upload their gameplays against you because you're just an awesome player like i said in my first video um i even called you one of the best players in the game and a lot of people were actually disagreeing with me however i do feel like you are still an awesome player very very good so um yeah if you guys want to stick towards the end of the video too because um after this game this game is about like nine minutes long i'm not really too sure but um i actually have another game after this one so if you guys want to stick for that you can um but yeah let's talk about the gameplay a little bit so with this map you can't really put too many farms there's only two spots uh, it's debatable though um sometimes you can fit a third banana farm in the top left corner on my side but i didn't even try because i can never get it i've never gotten to place a farm up there so i just literally did not try so you can just place one in the middle and then one in the bottom um, right hand corner so that's what I usually do um, so yeah I was honestly expecting him to go eco because um, oh, the first time I played him he went eco and he was just really effective with it and like I said there's not too many farm spots on this map so I was really expecting that and one of the problems with that I had in this video was that um, I didn't have a banana farmer so I had to keep on hovering over the bottom right hand corner farm in the middle farm which was quite annoying honestly um, especially like when you're getting rushed by your opponent, um, you're just getting a lot of bananas, but you're not actually not collecting them because you're usually building defenses if he's rushing you or something like that. You're not w really too worried about um, whatever else is going on, so that kind of sucks. But it's whatever. I honestly, I always forget to buy them. That's literally my problem. But yeah. So after this freaking comment error, probably gonna like go buy like a hundred or something. <laughs> no, but. Alright, so um, <laughs> um, I decided to send him some blacks because he was being pretty greedy. He was up on me on farms as well, and I needed to make him build up some defenses, get that other triple dart, and he will here soon. And there he goes with the triple dart, I'm pretty sure. Yep, so you got the triple dart, um, which is exactly what I wanted to get. And um, I was honestly really scared for round 8 because I did not want to die to a yellow rush. However, I did have the bomb tower, which the cluster bomb, obviously you guys know, is very good against yellows. So that's really nice. Um, so round eight comes and, um, he only has two dart monkeys just like me. So I was like, fuck it. Like I need to rush this guy, make him build up some defenses. So I start to rush him with some yellows, hopefully maybe getting a boost out of him or making him build up defenses. So he starts building triple dart monkeys. As you guys can see, he starts spamming them and he was just able to defend my yellow rush quite easily without a boost. So props to you, man. That was really good. And he starts sending me some yellows. So I quickly sold my farm, which is probably a rookie mistake, honestly. Um, you should probably like never sell your farms. I know that a lot of people say that, but just for the time being, um, I had to because I just not, did not want to die to yellows. Um, I probably could have boosted, uh, built another triple dart monkey and boosted, but it's all good. So now I have the bomb tower to defend against lead. So I just decided to send him some leads because he did not have a juggernaut. And honestly, the space leads are just really annoying sometimes, even when you have a jug, because the jug is just like you know going all over the place. So it looked like he leaked there, but I guess he didn't, and um, he sent me some pinks with some zebras, so I had to spam some triple darts, um, because I did not want to die to those, and I leaked quite a few lives, but I was still alive, so that's really nice. And then he starts sending me some camel leads because I did not have a juggernaut, so that kind of sucked. 
So I had to build up that Juggernaut, sell a farm for that, and yeah, so he here he goes with a mini Zebra Rush as well, so I had to get camo detection on all my Dark Monkeys, so I was easily able to defend that, so that was awesome. But um, like I said guys, this was a really good game, I'm really proud of myself as well, because um, I just thought I did really well in this game. Uh, there's some parts where I just um, didn't do too well, like when I had to sell my farms and everything, that kind of sucked. But yeah, like I said again too, um, I'm not trying to, you know dog on him or anything like call him bad or anything like marwin i think you're an awesome and a great player really best player like one of the best players in this game so uh, <laughs> despite what anyone says um a lot of people are mean to you um i can see why though but i don't even want to get into that um that's not the point of this video but yeah so i found out on round 16 as you guys can see he actually built a um monkey ace so i knew that was one of his towers so i guess he went dart ace farm um which is kind of odd because i was actually thinking about going ace instead of bomb however there's not too many spots where you can fit the ace so that's why i did not go that but um yeah so he's definitely up on me on farm so he had the advantage right here he's getting a lot more money than i was and I, honestly i was really scared that he was going to get a factory so that's why i decided to send him a moab um, because I want him to build up defenses, um, maybe cause a few leaks, maybe even kill him. So, um, I send the Moab, everything's all good. Um, he upgrades to the Operation Dart Storm on his Monkey Ace, which is really nice. Exactly what I wanted for him to build up defenses. So, here come those balloons, and actually he leaks quite a few lives, guys. He leaked over 50 lives, almost 60, 59. <laughs> but, yeah, so I was really happy about that, and, uh, he just wasted a boost also. Well, not wasted, but he used a boost. So I knew that I could rush him again. So that's what I decided to do. I decided to send another mob. And since he only had one jug, um, I decided to send that with some leads behind it. Because, um, like I said, he only has one tower for popping leads. So that's why I decided to do that. He started triple, I mean not triple dart, but um, dart monkey spamming. And he has the balloon jitsu right there. So it's like, oh fuck, he's going to be able to defend this. However, those leads guys are getting through and he decided to get a super monkey fan club and I was like, oh, it's over. But like I said, he only has one tower, two pop leads. He should have got a tower right here, right now. But you guys will see what will happen and boom guys, he leaked and he in fact died. So I in fact beat Marwin. So that's literally so awesome. I was very, very proud of myself and he gave me the thumbs down um, probably because, you know, that was a bad game for him and everything. Like I said, though, I'm not trying to dog on him or anything. Marwin, you're an awesome player, but that was an awesome game. I'm really proud of myself. So, yeah, so this is the second game, guys. It's against Winkies World YT, and I actually see this guy all the time. He comments on all my videos and everything. Well, not all of them, but I see him a lot in the community. So, what's up, dude? If you're watching this, um, it was a great game, um, just like the Marwin one, so that's why I decided to upload it. And it's kind of a, like, it's kind of like, you know, I'm battling two YouTubers. Well, Marwin doesn't upload, however, he used to, so I can I still consider him a YouTuber. I mean, he has like 500 subscribers or something like that. So, yeah, um, <laughs> it's like the YouTuber battle video, but <laughs> um, yeah, so again, I, well, not again, actually, I go Dart Ace Farm on this because Ace is just a really viable tower on this map. Now, a lot of people can agree with me. There's a lot of spots where you can put him, you can put him, the Ace right in the middle of the map, and it's really nice. So that's why I decided to go that, and he was actually, he was actually using the boomerang monkey, which is kind of surprising. Um, I don't see really too many people use this, and he, then he just started to build up a ninja monkey. So he already revealed three of his towers to me, so that was pretty nice. Maybe I don't know if he got one of those in the bonus or what. So he um is like doing this like mix eco strat, I guess. I mean he has a farm, however he's sending me like constant blues, so um it's kind of weird. Um, because I usually just see people stick to either eco or farms. However, this guy was like doing some like sort of mix, so that was pretty cool, I guess. Um, so he started sending me some pinks and everything, so I, I upgraded to a triple door, and he was sending me constant blues as well, so I needed to have at least two triple doors to defend those. So I started to send him some pinks as well because his uh, defenses were lacking, honestly. Um, with that ninja monkey, he didn't even have like he didn't have the two one upgrade. So I got him to upgrade to that, so that was really nice. And he actually sold his boomerang monkey. So I could have sent him some greens right here. However, I wanted to focus on my farms and get that plantation because um, I know his eco is much higher than mine. And honestly, I know sending him greens would just make him build, and I wouldn't kill him from it. Or 
I probably wouldn't even get a boost out of it. So I just decided not to do that. But um, I'm defending pretty nicely against um, his greens with two Triple Dark Monkeys. However, he starts to send me blacks and balloon boosts to those. So I decided to build up another Triple Dark Monkey because I just didn't want to get those annoying leaks. You guys know about those annoying leaks like from pinks or blacks like or whites or anything, honestly. Um, I just don't like the annoying leaks and everything. Plus, I was already down like 20 lives. Um, I didn't want to get down to like you know, 90 or something like that. So I decided to build up another triple dark monkey and here he goes with a yellow rush. And honestly, I'm really upset about what I did. I can't believe I boosted right there. Um, I should have waited just a little longer, but it's all right. So I decided to send him some yellows cause his defenses were lacking. And so he leaks a lot of lives from that. <laughs> honestly, I thought he was gonna boost, but he didn't, I couldn't remember. But um, he leaked down to 50 lives, 49 actually. But that was a lot of these guys so he decides to rush me again with some yellows um i was really confused on that so i decided to triple dot spam and um i was easily able to defend it so that was really nice um that was kind of a waste of money for him i mean look at his defenses right now and he only has two one zero farms yeah only two one zero farms so i knew that i was I, like i had this game in the bag like he has no money um his eco can't even be that high it's probably like around 500 or something and he starts to send me pinks like this is kind of like He's just like wasting his money like he needs to build up defenses and uh, be able to defend round 13 and I decided to boost right there I honestly don't even know why um, I could have defended that without a boost but it's whatever so I decided to sell my farms and all out zebra rush him because he just had no money guys he was just sending me too much eco and he actually got the operation dark storm I was like oh no he's gonna defend this but however he got it too late and I was able to, to kill him so that's gonna be it for this video guys if you did in fact enjoy make sure to drop a like and also comment on how you felt about it um I really like to read all you guys comments so if you guys would like to do that then that would be awesome that's gonna be it for this video it's been your boy Bulltrix peace out and have a fantastic day